everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. This is Black Primo. It's all we're going to use today. Black Primo. I'm going to let me off a substantial chunk. Chunk. Alright, I'm going to I'm going to roll this out on my thickest setting. Then I'm going to double it over. And then I shall be back. Now, I want to thin this down first. You never want to roll something that thick through your pasta machine. You will tear up more pasta machines that way. So, you definitely want to thin this down. Uh, it's all still too thick to roll through there. Let me, let me show you. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but Saturday, coming home from the doctor, just a regular checkup visit, I went to step, we have steps outside, made it up the steps, no problem. The last little step into the house is, you know, four inches maybe. wasn't thinking went to step up with the wrong leg which is my right leg a little back history about 10 years ago I badly broke my leg and didn't know it for several days so it wasn't set nothing like that but it was badly broke so um, it took a little a little bit to get to where I could walk again after that um, so coming up that little four inch step, stepping up on the wrong leg, my leg went out from under me. And before I could get my other leg up there, I, I had gone down too far to recover. So I went down on my knees, which for me is a terrible, terrible thing. I had a I had an accident at the skating rink an accident if you call it that when uh, somebody that decided they didn't like me uh, crunched under my kneecaps right underneath my kneecaps that top part of your bone so they've always um, been damaged enough that it causes me a lot of pain to uh, be on my knees. At 59 years old, it caused quite a bit of pain and a bit of damage. So I haven't been able to walk for a couple of days. But today, I could finally walk a little bit like robot style keeping my legs completely straight if I try to bend my left leg at all uh, I will go down it will not support me so <clears throat> it, it, it's not fun having to rely on your husband for everything because my husband is not Mm -mm. Let's just say he's not very nurturing. I still have been able to manage dinner every night, but just barely. Okay, now that is, that's still a little thick right there, but that is thin enough to run through my pasta machine. 
So that's what I'm going to do. Roll it through my pasta machine, think of setting, and I'm going to fold it over and then I'll be back. Okay, this is just my gold leaf, my metallically gold colored, metallically. Now, once I open this, I'm probably not going to talk because I tend to blow it everywhere. I'm going to just put a layer on here, then I'm going to thin it down by running it through my pasta machine. Which is still set on the thickest setting. Remember, this is the thickest setting, but folded over. So, it's doubled. Okay, I'm just going to continue on doing this until I get the whole thing covered. Then I'll be back. Okay, now these are the pinata alcohol inks. If I had my glasses on, I'd tell you what color they are. <laughs> Baja blue, pink, and blue violet. You can use any color. Uh, the um, pearl or metallic alcohol inks would definitely work different. So probably just regular alcohol ink would be your best bet. Actually, squirt this with a little bit of alcohol. See if we can get that moving around a little bit better. Okay. And then the blue violet. Can shake it. I'm going to put three drops of that. Because that one is quite a bit darker. Now, my basic instinct is to blot that off, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let this evaporate off, let the alcohol evaporate off, and then I'll be back. Okay. Now, of course, it's not dry underneath. And I've already got it on. <laughs> mm. I'm going to let that evaporate off just a minute before I try to touch it. Now, I'm going to run it through my pasta machine this way. Still on my thickest setting. Okay. And you can see the result. Now, when you cut earring shapes out of that and put uh, UV resin on top, 
Wow, that is going to pop. Okay, even just um, uh, the Varathane would be really pretty. But there's also, and I'll do a tutorial on this, you can use, and it was under my glasses, um, you can also use the liquid clay, and uh, you have to heat it with your heat gun and stuff, but you can also do that. Let's cut, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do circles this time. I'm going to do, I think one bigger one maybe, and two of the smaller ones. We'll see. Alright, let's start. I want all three colors, if possible. Okay. Maybe this one, yeah, I don't have some pink. I just don't have any blue. Hmm. Pink and blue. A little pink and blue. A little purple and gold. Then I'm going to cut, no, no, I'm going to, that, that's going to be my earrings right there. The rest of this, I'm going to uh, do B. Okay, here is how they came out of the oven. Okay, as you can see, they look kind of matte. All right, this is the before they went in the oven. These are just the beads I'm gonna roll up. Okay, and then here is how they come out domed with resin. So you can see how those colors really pop. All right, we're gonna turn these into earrings. I'm gonna UV resin these and then these I'm just going to roll into beads. Alright. <clears throat> these are both just going to be um, dangling earrings. Alright, so I'm going to put these together, roll these beads up, and then I'll be back. Wow, here they are. Those gold and purple with a little tiny bit of the pink and the blue mostly the purple and the gold right. and these purple I mean the <laughs> gold and the pink with the little blue now I debated whether to turn these into a bracelet but they were a little too short if i'd have made eight i could have got away with it. Mm, those are gorgeous and here are the beads And once again, not much blue. I think one of them down here had a little blue on it, but that one. 
Okay. Oh, those are pretty though. Those would be a gorgeous bracelet with some um, color coordinating glass beads like some pink or some blue. Those would be pretty. Maybe not the blue. There may not be enough in there. But the pink or the purple. Those would be pretty. Alright. <laughs> now, I do have an Amazon shop. And the um, metallic foils are listed there. Alcohol inks, resin dyes, mica, glitter, all that stuff. Okay, one see. Oh, those are so pretty. My husband even commented on the before and after the UV resin. He was really surprised what a difference it made. So, thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see if that helps a little. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like everybody's video, including this one. <laughs> it really does help the YouTube creators. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Bye for now. <laughs>